high liquid level cutout is a safety device that must be installed on each vessel which supplies vapor directly to a compressor suction line. Hi, I'm Peter Thomas, President and Senior Engineer at Resource Compliance. Typically, a high liquid level cutout consists of a ball type float switch that is installed on a vessel supplying vapor to the inlet of a compressor. The float switch will be interlocked with compressors so that if the liquid level in the vessel rises, causing the switch to activate, all compressors supplied by the vessel will de-energize. The purpose of a high liquid level cutout is to protect compressors from the damage that can result from liquid being drawn into the machine. This is called liquid slugging and can be disastrous for the compressor. The International Institute of Ammonia Refrigeration, IIAR, requires that high liquid level cutouts be included in any new system design per standard two. Additionally, high liquid level cutouts are included as a minimum system safety requirement for existing vessels, regardless of age, in the first edition of IIAR Standard 9, which was published in 2020. As with any safety device, it is important that the high liquid level cutout be periodically tested for proper operation. IIAR Standard 6 requires that high liquid level cutouts be tested at least annually. It should be emphasized that only qualified persons are allowed to test a high liquid level cutout. As the test involves de-energizing equipment, it is important that trained personnel be available to restart the system after completing the test. Before testing a high liquid level cutout, make sure to notify facility management that the test will be taking place. Since manually increasing the liquid level in a vessel which connects to a compressor suction line could result in compressor damage if the test is unsuccessful, High liquid level cutouts are often tested by removing the switch from the ball assembly by lifting the switch off the enclosing tube, then tipping the switch on its side or inserting a screwdriver into the opening where the tube resided, the switch can be manually activated which will result in all compressors supplied by the vessel being deactivated. As with all tests, it is important to document the results as necessary to demonstrate what took place. After completing the test, the switch can be reinstalled on the ball assembly, the alarm can be cleared, and the system restarted. Visit our website, resourcecompliance.com, for more compliance and mechanical integrity related content.